There were a lot of cheery faces today as the tractor trailers arrived with bikes that were stolen by Igor Kenk. To provide bikes and bike parts that were the subject of an earlier criminal case that have been seized under the Civil Remedies Act by the province and are now being given back to young people throughout the province of Ontario. After police put the brakes on his crime spree, others in the Toronto community and north as far as Thunder Bay want to gear up for a good season of riding bikes. We've got some additional bikes going to North Spirit Lake, a fly-in community I visited as Minister of Aboriginal Affairs about five weeks ago, and we've got 250 going to Thunder Bay to be distributed to youth and adults. Close to 30 bikes and more than a thousand components will be going to the Cabbage Town Youth Centre for at-risk youth, and they're going to end up learning how to train, ride, and assemble these bikes. It's not just a great thing to give a kid a, a bike, but we are creating citizens who will use the bikes for transportation in our city. And even the Toronto Sun is becoming a proud partner in helping the Cabbage Town Youth Centre and getting bikes out to the community. Now it's a big undertaking because there's thousands of bikes, so he, he needs uh, support from people in the community. And that's where we come in. We will help uh, once the press conference is over to uh, facilitate getting the bikes into the hands of kids that need them. And the sooner we can get them out onto the streets in the hands of, of uh, kids in the community that need them, the better. So it's, it, like I said, it's it's a great ending to, uh, to a story that's been sort of around and everyone's wondering what's going to happen with these bikes. Uh, today is the day that uh, we find out and it's it's uh, it's super this is photographer videographer jack boland reporting for the toronto sun